Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about a wedding, you know, getting married here in Hawaii. Um, there's a couple things you got to know. First and foremost, the bride and groom must prepare a, a Hawaii marriage application. So you have to go online and you have to submit an application with an ID, passport, driver's license. You must be 18 years of age. Good news is Hawaii actually makes it pretty easy to get married. You don't have to be a resident. You know, obviously people from all over the place get married in Hawaii, it's quite common. And one of the things that's made it so common is how easy it is. So along with completed marriage application license, you must have age documents, you know, documentation of your age. Uh, you don't have to do a blood test. The bride and groom must appear together in person before a licensed marriage agent, you know, will issue it. The application will be reviewed. You will receive Hawaii marriage license. Um, you participate in a marriage ceremony performed by a licensed marriage officier, aficionado, anywhere in this in the state of Hawaii within 30 days of the marriage license approval. So once you get the approval, you have 30 days to go ahead and follow through with it. Uh, you have to participate in a wedding ceremony performed by a licensed Hawaii marriage officier. Once married, your officiate will provide you with your marriage uh, certificate indicating a legal marriage has been formed, performed in the state of Hawaii. So, yeah, these, you know, there are some, there are some steps you have to follow. It's not just come out here and just, you know, get married on the beach <laughs> in order to get married legally, right? It's kind of, it's, you don't have to do a blood test, like I said, but uh, it's kind of interesting. So, as far as the, the documentation, or the, the most popular places as far as picking an island. I mean, it's gonna come down to um, you picking out your island. I could say that Kauai is really popular for this, depending on who you talk to. Um, Pride of Maui, for example, a website here in Maui uh, ranks Kauai one and two, Big Island three and four, Big Island. And then Maui's first one is five. And then six and then seven and then Oahu so Oahu makes the list at eight um, I've done some local weddings and I've seen other weddings I've seen wedding photographers take you know uh, pre-wedding photos you know where like a couple will go to the beach and uh, they'll get a photographer to go out there with them you can you can go to a professional company or you can um, find photographers that you know might be on other websites such as Craigslist believe it or not You know you usually want to do a little bit of always ask them if you can see some reviews You know you you don't you shouldn't just hire somebody if they don't have any reviews because you know it might be shady, right? Um, I, and I get it sometimes you can get a better price if you get uh, a cheaper or a, 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 a new a newbie, right? You can get better pricing um, If I was some of the places that I would take a look at if I was like, let's just say I'll go by by island. So I it's it appears that some of the nicest, most lavish chapels. I mean, if you're if you got money, okay, I would say take a look in Waikoloa on the Big Island. Um, that's if you got the money, you know. And I, what I mean by the money is, I mean, <laughs> if you got the big family and you got you know, you want the ceremony. Seemed like the Hilton Waikoloa would have been probably number one in my opinion. Although, you know, that's going to depend on who you ask. I've seen a pretty nice chapel at the Kona Sheraton. Definitely the Hilton, like I said. Um, I know the Manalani does some, some weddings. Four Seasons if you got deep, deep pockets. And then, if you're going to go over to Hilo, you might check out. You know, there's... Depends. I mean, if you want a cheap one, you could probably plan something at I don't know <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know if a ceremony is gonna be too cheap in Hawaii that's to be honest with you but if you just want to do like a marriage on the beach you know you would have to follow the the state's guidelines on that but um, you, you could find a you know probably your the person you would get your marriage application or certificate would be able to provide you with that information as to what the guidelines are for each beach and whether that's possible to get married on the beach. I've definitely seen it happen like at Kua Bay on the Big Island. 
in Hilo, it, like the, the Nani Loa Hotel, it, it, it seems like it's pretty cool if you could get married down at the Black Sand Beach in Punalu'u. Um, seems like a wedding would be pretty cool out in um, Puna, down in, uh, you know, Kalapana area. Maybe even, I don't know anyone who's really gotten married out at the volcano, but, you know, if you're a geologist, that might be cool. Uh, I haven't really known anyone get married over at Mauna Kea on the summit or anything, if, unless you're an astro astronomer. But over here on Maui, it seems like Kanapali, Kanapali would be probably the most chill spot for you and your family to, you know, to, to, to get it together. Um, Wailea seems to have some pretty cool resorts for that. I saw, I saw some chap a pretty nice chapel over there at um, the Grand Wailea. You know, that was pretty nice. And then I've, it seems like the Westin over on the north side of the island. And uh, yeah, I mean, Napili area has some pretty nice, that, that's really nice weather out there actually. And then on Oahu, it seems like a lot of people prefer to get married in like at Koalina. Um, maybe they'll get married in Waikiki. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like, I. I know a lot of people are going to be, by default, they're going to assume Oahu, but like I showed you on that list, even by the pros, you know, they're, they're not ranking Oahu as one of the top premier destinations to get married. And I think mostly because when you get married, you kind of, you don't want the big crowds around you and Oahu is going to have the huge crowds. I mean, it's like a, it's like a New York city, you know? <laughs> Um, whereas if you go to the big island, you can get way more privacy. Kauai, you can get more privacy. It's probably why Kauai uh, ranks up there. Kauai is one of those, it's a very romantic place. It really is because you get the, 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 the serenity, you get the rainbows quite frequently in some of these places over in Hanalei and even on the other side of the island. Um, if I, if I was to recommend a place to get married just personally, like if I was to get married in Hawaii, knowing what I know about Hawaii, I would probably really look, if I had, the, if I had some money, meaning if I could afford this, I would say I would take a really strong look at Waikoloa on the big island. I would take a big, I would take a serious look at that just because it's a, uh, Less people, just got that charming feeling out there on the big island in Waikoloa. That's in Kohala. It's north of Kona. I wouldn't recommend getting getting married in Kona. You know, it's Kona's not really a marriage place. I don't think it is. I'm surprised they put it five here on the list, but I wouldn't put Kona on the top of the list for getting married. I mean, for if I'm doing snorkeling, sure. If I'm doing diving, yeah, Kona. I mean, if I'm doing a whole range of other things, maybe Kona, but um, definitely Waikoloa. Hilton, Manalani, Hapuna Prince. Uh, these are just names for you guys to look at. And, uh, oh, the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel. Take a look at that one, too. And if, if, if I'm looking to get married in Maui, I'm probably going to... Kahanapali, looking in the Kahanapali area. Um, the Sheraton over there is really nice, the Black Rock Beach Sheraton. Um, it's probably expensive, but that's a beautiful hotel. I mean, from that from that hotel, you, that's where you get some of these, you know, world class views. If I was to if I was to look at Oahu, I I probably would bypass Oahu personally. But some people, they just get so enchanted by Oahu. I mean, people just eat Oahu up like it's candy. This is their, it's their, like their dream come true is Oahu. <laughs> and I don't know. I mean, it's cool. I like it. But it's too many people for me. I, I like people. I mean, I like Oahu in small doses. But for a marriage, no. Come on. <laughs> Unless you're going to go to Koalina. But even then, it's... It's too, uh, I don't know, people are probably not too happy with me saying that I would bypass Oahu for marriage, but okay. 
or winning. Kauai, yeah. So the number one place in Kauai, I'll just give it to you. It's uh, Naaina Kai Botanical Gardens. That's what they call, that's what they recommend. And then there's Surf Song Kauai. On the Big Island, they say Puakea. On the Big Island, I think that's up there by uh, Javi. That's over there in Javi. That's past Waikoloa. And then they say Kona Beach Bungalows. Okay, Kona Beach Bungalows, sure. I told you I wouldn't get married in Kona. Some people would. I wouldn't. Um, here it says a beach wedding for $95, but what they're saying is that's, that's to get in contact with somebody to set you up with a beach wedding for $95. It's pretty cool, right? But it doesn't include it doesn't include um, the actual uh, vows, the per, you know, the person who reads the vows and and stuff like that. So it doesn't, the person who's ordained to do that, the person who reads the vows, the minister or anything like that. Um, let's see here. This, this website here is recommending Maui as the, the place... Maui's got that just really relaxing, like if you want a stress-free wedding and a, and a guaranteed good time, your safest bet, your safest wedding option is going to be Maui. Like if you want it guaranteed, have, you know, the least amount of resistance coming against you, Maui's going to be your, your safest bet. As far as tying the knots for average cost in Hawaii, you're looking at an event planner. $2,615. That's coming from the website called The Knot. Transportation, $764. Wedding cake, $520. Venue, $18,000 for the venue. Photographer, $2,600. Flowers and decor, $2,600. Music, $2,200. Officiant, uh, $225. $225. So what is that? I mean, if you add all that up, I, I don't have a calculator in front of me, but you know, you're, you're upwards of $30,000 $30, plus, you know, starting out, assuming that you're going to need a music, $2,000 music and $2,000 photographer, $500 cake, that sounds about right, right? And the venue for $18,000 sounds about right. So, yeah, it seems like about $30,000 is what you're going to need to get to tie the knot in Hawaii to do it right. Oh, that doesn't include the airfare <laughs> per person or the accommodations, the hotel. And hotels in Hawaii, they start at, I want to say, honestly, for a pretty good accommodation, they start at about $200 a night plus tax. And your tax is going to come out to about $30. Per night on $200 tab, plus $30 for resort amenity fees per night per person or yeah, you know, per room. So, anyways, see y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you like.